explanation of variable in the design of experiment. Um, in engineering, uh, we have um, the independent variable and then we have the um, dependent variable. Typically, dependent variable is expressed by y and then independent variable is expressed by x. But when the design of experiment is started, then it is actually started from the biology field. So the bio biology field. So in biology, you want to see what's the f effect of a fertilizer or irrigation system on growing more crops. So, e is the irrigation method is a factor. So the term factor is actually more common in the biology field. Is this a factor of something uh, growing more crops? So that factor is the x variable or independent variable. Also, the is this, and then um, the you want to apply some particular type of irrigation method. I want to see how the crops or plant responds to that. So, is this yielding more crops? So the yield would be the y variable. And then after the biology field, the medical science started to use design of experiment. So in the medical field, you apply some treatment and then you want to see is there any uh, effect on that treatment on the pain relief. So you design a pain medicine and want to see how the patient respond. So that response would be the dependent variable in the um, in the medical uh, field. When engineers started to use design of experiment after biology field and then medical field, they didn't really change anything. So they basically use factor as their X variable. And then response is the most common Y variable. So basically in design of experiment, most book use factor as the x variable and then response is the y variable now we'll see that there are a couple of types of factor you may have a nominal variable which is for example gender you have male female or you could have a, um, a numeric variable which is uh, for example um, numeric variable could be RPM or uh, speed RPM or speed you want to see is the speed does the speed affect the gas mileage of some car so then mile per gallon would be the um, response uh, so uh, factor could be both numeric and non-numeric or nominal uh, response cannot be nominal it has to be the the lowest you can have is some kind of Likert scale type data for example strongly agree to strongly disagree basically 0 to 10 scale or 0 to 5 or whatever 0 to 7 basically Likert scale data and of course numeric data for example gas mileage mpg miles per gallon so this is about the variables in design of experiment so if you try to understand what would be the dependent variable independent variable um, and then what's the term used in design of experiment factor is used as the independent variable and response is used as the um, dependent variable and then um, independent variable can be both numeric and non-numeric however the dependent variable must be uh, numeric some kind of numbers so you can calculate the mean standard deviation mode things like that 
Uh, we'll talk about more as we go in this course. So most of the time, the design of experiment question is, um, does this effect have an effect on something? Does X affect Y? So this is the question we're trying to solve in design of experiment.